which is centered around political uh, party machines or what I call party cartels. They emerge, their significance rises, uh, arose with two uh, de institutional developments. One was the introduction of the election law, which introduced fully proportional election system, where pro political parties became key actors in the political process. And the second is the constitutional change of 2000, and four, the decentralized power from the president who transferred some of the powers to regions. Two different actors. Who are these actors? So let's go through some of them so that we understand how funding, uh, uh, how funding works. Of course, one is a typical uh, funding for uh, uh, media. Um, over one million uh, is, has been spent regularly uh, on uh, placing ads. Uh, we estimate that about twenty or thirty thousand dollars per month was an additional salary, salary, salary that a member of the Central Election Commission would receive. They were also funding the staff of the Central Election Commission, so the administration itself. They mentioned here the departments of the Central Electoral Commission would receive in the range of sixty thousand dollars per month. They were also funding people at the lower level of the, of the Electoral Commission, going down as far as the precinct Electoral Commissions. Every month they would receive additional salaries. Members of these Electoral Commissions would receive additional uh, salaries. But remember, of course, this is an Electoral Commission. Um, and also they were funding protests, interestingly, uh, pickets right next to the Electoral Commissions in Kiev, so uh, in the range of $150,000 per picket. Um, but these were counter pickets against the pickets that were organized by the opposition. So these were sort of titushkis, I guess, or people who were trying to create a different, uh, promote a different sphere of the country that apparently doesn't trust the banking institutions of his own country. He was also, he was also for about 10 years a government official, which he pointed out in the interview to The Guardian uh, in November, where he said that before he entered politics in 2006, he was already a successful businessman, and of course he entered politics in